Junkers, this is Kathy. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm beginning my Halloween journal and I'm using the wonderful digis of Louisa Heinzel. Um, check out her channel, her Etsy shop. She's got some cool, cool, different Halloween digis. And I'm so excited I'm gonna be using them. Okay, I've already got my signature together, but I'm gonna put that aside and we're gonna start from the beginning. I'm making a journal that's around eight and a half by six. And first I'm going to start with two pieces of black cardstock. And it's going to have a one and a half inch spine. It's going to be a one signature journal. So not too big. I'm going to put it about an eighth of an inch apart. And just washi tape this in place. And you're going to hear my dog in the background. And uh, I'm telling you, I'm filming this late, late, late. Every time I think I can film without him barking, he knows I'm vid videotaping. He actually, I'm convinced that he knows. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use book tape on this. And I'm going to cover the spine. And I'm not worried about the color this will all be covered. I am worried about covering those openings, the fold lines though. And actually going to turn it over. I'm going to cut this. I'm cutting it instead of folding it over simply because I don't want the bulk. Okay, and I'm also going to put a piece of tape on this side. And I, as some of you might have heard me say, I love using book tape. It's strong, it's easy, mostly because it's very strong. And some of you may have seen, I have a poll on my channel. I'd love to hear from you. Please take the poll so I can get some information on the types of things that you like to see in a, on my channel.
Okie doke. There we have it. The next thing I'm going to do is I want this, this is going to be kind of a grungy journal. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this craft paper. I get it at Dollar Tree in a roll. I'm gonna scrunch it up. And actually we're not gonna, you're not even gonna see this, but it just gives me peace of mind <laughs> knowing that I did it. I don't know. It's true, you're not gonna see it. I don't really need to do it. But that being said, I'm going to rip it. You will see the edges. And you might see the underside, so I want to make sure that these are covered as well. And that's going to go right there. I'm going to also take another piece. Actually, I'm gonna take another piece for the spine. And that's going to go there, but I'm gonna do that after I do the uh, the sides or the covers rather. Then if you want it more wrinkly, you just um, squish it up some more. And again, the sides are the most important. Okay. Get rid of some of this trash. And this will be our first layer. And I'm gonna kind of go around the edges. Might need another piece up here. So I'm gonna put that in. Whoop, got glue. That's okay. And we're gonna kind of turn up the edges. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Sorry about my dog, guys. Gosh. Drives me crazy sometimes. Love them to death. Drives me crazy. Okay. Our next layer is going to be cheesecloth. And I know I cut some. 
and see what I did with it. Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm going to cut about right there. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I had to go take care of my puppy. Otherwise, he'd be barking all night. And I'm gonna glue this on. Just like that. And on this side as well. going to see this because it's we're just going to see what's under the edges so in reality you can take you know strips of it and put it it's just easier I believe to do it like this next I want to do the center so I'm going to take this piece Just there. And I'm putting it, I'm not sticking it in the folds. Well, <laughs> I had, by accident I stuck it in the fold. And Look, so I'm peeking out at this end. Just like that. Okay. Next, a little bit of cheesecloth. That glue is flowing a little too much. My cheesecloth is disintegrating. There we go. <laughs> that looks like a hot mess, doesn't it? But it's gonna look really cool. Now, before I put the other piece that goes on the back, 
I want to actually stitch in, and before I put the covers, I'm going to stitch in the signature. And I told you I had put together my signature. Here it is. This was tracing paper that I printed this on. Again, this is Louise, Louisa Heinzel's um, stuff, digis. And this is vintage style snippets. This, the coffee dyed envelope and doily. I love her stuff. And then I simply printed, I stuck this onto a piece of copy paper and then printed these images on it. A book page. And I like it because you can see right through. Anyway, this is another piece of tracing paper. I printed this on. We'll go through the signature more in depth later, but I am going to find, where's my other little piece? I had one piece, oh, here it is. This is going to go back here, and this is what I'm actually going to stitch my signature into. So what I'm doing is I'm folding it in half. just like that and I'm going to clip it Okay, I'm going to use my pokey tool. And this. I better move the book. And we're going to poke it right in the center. One, about an inch down. Two, and an inch from the bottom. Okay. Next, Let's complete the pamphlet stitch and down through the center. Hold on to the string. Up through the top. down through the bottom. And up through the center on the opposite side of the string, the center string. And remove the clips and we're done. and make sure it's tight. Yeah. 
And I'm going to leave this a little long. I'm probably going to hang some bats on it or something. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue it to the center. So I have scored this. so that it fits inside there. And I'm going to use some double-sided tape. And we're gonna put one piece there. across the back and right over the binding, the string. And we want to make sure, especially on the string, that's really sticking in there. We'll stick it to you. And look what I did. I didn't want to do that. There we go. And one more. And I want to go in and trim this. And then let's remove this. Three. I don't know why I always count to myself. Do you do that? I don't know. I think it was from when I was a teacher. Okay. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to fold the creases in. I'm not going to set it up. I'm changing my mind. It's hard to see. Hard to see there's a shadow there. Okay. Okay. Sure, it's in well. Okay, let's see how this is sticking. Might have to go back and put some glue in there, but we'll see. Alrighty, now comes the fun part. Let me put this away. I don't need this. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do is, this is going to be on the front. This is going to be on the back. Pull out some more of this. That. Pull out some on this side. And the same thing here. Let's pull the cheesecloth out. Like that. And I want it pretty close over to the edge. I gave it about a quarter of an inch around when I cut it. So let's glue that in place. I said, let's glue that in place. I want to really make sure it gets to the edge. Okay. Okay, same thing over here. Okay. Next, I have some fabric here. And I'm going to use this.
Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is dirty this up. This stuff is suckered to rip. There we go. Okay. This is going to go there. And it's going to go just like that. Just like that. Same over on this side. Now, okay, this is going to need some wet glue. Put in the inside cover. <laughs> and these are from the cover pages are from Tim Holtz uh, Halloween backboards. In loving remembrance of Mrs. Claybaugh, died October 22nd. Loving friends, weep not for me, I long to be at rest. How happy, happy I shall be when pillowed on my Savior's breast. Oh, the hope, the hope is sweet that we soon in heaven may meet. There we all shall happy be, rest from pain and sorrow free. Hmm. 
And this is going on the back page. And I think, oh no, I was thinking of making that a pocket, but I'm not going to. Sorry guys, my dog. I need my own space. Okay. Now, this stuff needs to be trimmed. Okay. Well, so far, here's what we have. We have a front cover that hasn't been decorated. I was thinking of making some Nah. And we have a signature. These are going to be decorated. We have an envelope with some guest checks. I also ran through the printer with some Halloween things. Oh. I want to put it this way so you can see the numbers through the window down there. Doily. An eyeball in a flower. Great paper. <laughs> Another little pocket place. Okay, well that's all we have time for today. Thank you for watching, I appreciate you. And please take a moment to complete my survey and please come back for part two. That's going to be the fun part. Have a good one, bye-bye.